Where is the tallest fountain? Fountain Hills, Arizona. Fountain Valley, Alberta. London, England. Or Perth, Australia. Perth, Australia. You say Perth, Australia, you are absolutely wrong. It's Fountain Hills, Arizona. The jet of water can reach 190 meters and travels at 236 kilometers per hour. Punisher. I like when it pours slow. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> Thank you, Rahat. Back to your spot. What animal has the biggest eyes in the world? Is it the giant squid, the elephant, the chihuahua, or the blue whale? The blue whale. You say the blue whale, you are wrong. It's the giant squid. If you had eyes like them, your face would have to be larger than a wading pool to contain them. Punisher. What am I, giant squid? Oh, Punisher. Ooh, if that's what chop squid looks like, I don't think I'm gonna have any, thank you. Bacteria was first discovered in 1676 by whom? A Dutch drapery maker, a Swedish cheese maker, an English dentist, or a Russian butcher? Uh, Swedish cheese maker. You say a Swedish cheese maker, I say it's the Dutch drapery maker. Sorry! Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you know that Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek discovered bacteria when he looked at his dental plaque under a microscope. Punisher. Hocus pocus halitosis. Oh, wow. Halitosis never looked so good. Thank you very much, Punisher. Where is the longest roller coaster ride? Is it in Los Angeles, California? Is it in Lightwater Valley, Yorkshire? Is it in my backyard? Or is it in Madrid, Spain? Uh, Los Angeles, Canada. You say L.A., I say light water. You're wrong, baby. I'm so sorry, David. The ultimate roller coaster measures 2.29 kilometers. Punisher. Loop city loops make me sick. <laughs> oh, wow. Remind me not to go on a roller coaster, because if that comes out of my gut, it ain't going to be pretty. Theater as we know it began in what country? Italy, England, Greece, or Disneyland? Uh, Greece. You say Greece. You are absolutely right. Give them 50 points Woo! on the board. <laughs> Some Greek plays that are over 2,500 years old are still being performed. Good job, Gary. Back to your spot. He's up to 85 points. The first rock band to broadcast a concert live via satellite was you 2 Duran Duran, the Rolling Stones, or the Beatles? The Beatles. You say Beatles, I say give this man 50 points yeah! on the board. Right there. Good job, good job. At what height do you start getting altitude sickness? Is it 4,000 feet, 4,000 yards, 40,000 feet, or 40,000 yards? 4,000 feet. You say 4,000 feet, I say it's 4,000 yards. I'm so sorry, Chris. Oh my, at 4,000 yards, Lack of oxygen may give you headache, coughing, and nausea. Punisher. That's funny, so does this. Oh, my. Punisher. Very cool. And now for the deluxe. Oh, it's sweet. Thank you very much. No points for you. I'm sorry, Chris. Back to your spot. What is the loudest creature? Is it the monkey, the whale, the woodpecker, or pet goldfish? You say the woodpecker, you are absolutely wrong. It's the whale. Oh, the blue whale can emit sounds that can be heard 850 kilometers away. Punisher. Cover your ears. Oh, that is loud. Punisher, that is loud. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. No points for you, Green, but I'm sure she's going to get you back later. What is chutzpah? Is it bravery, offensive rashness, is it natural skill, or a coward? Natural skill. Natural skill is wrong. It's offensive rashness. Well, the key point's here. Chutzpah is not necessarily a compliment. Punisher. I can't even say chutzpah. Well, Punisher, you do have a lot of chutzpah. Thank you very much, because that's fun to watch. Which is the smallest mammal? Is it a shrew, a pig, Sailor Moon, or a bat? A shrew. You say a shrew. 
I say it's a bat. So sorry, Tony. Oh! <laughs> so close. No points. Oh, the bumblebee bat weighs less than two grams. Punisher. Yeah, you gotta watch this guy. Oh! Oh! So sweet. Tony. So sorry, Tony. Back to your spot. Nothing for you. Where was the Zamboni invented? Ontario, California, British Columbia, or the North Pole? Ontario. You say Ontario. You're absolutely wrong. It's California. <laughs> Frank Zamboni, a rink owner, invented the ice cleaning machine in 1942. Punisher. And you know it makes great too. Oh, wow. Well, I gotta try the Zamboni too my dad. That looks real good. Thank you, Punisher. No points for green. So sorry, but when was the first drive-in movie open? 1933, 1867, 1965, or the date of my birth, 1949. 1933. You say 33? You are right. Give them 50 points on the board. Good job, Blue. The spare department. I'm so sorry, Punisher. In World War I, what kind of plane did the infamous Red Baron pilot? Was it a Fokker triplane, a Sopwith Camel, a ribbon drop biplane, or a Japanese Zero? Japanese Zero? You say a Japanese Zero, I gotta give you zero points. It's a Fokker triplane. You're wrong, Jermaine. Oh! The Red Baron flew a Fokker triplane, shooting down 80 enemy planes be before being taken down in 1918. Punisher. I changed my plane oil today. <laughs> oh, that is some nasty oil. Well, Jermaine, you got revenge. I hope you're happy. Oh, recording artist James Galway is world-renowned for which of the following? His tenor voice, inventing the wah-wah pedal, playing the flute, or dating Scary Spice. Playing flute. You say playing the flute? You are right. Give her 50 points. Good stuff. Victoria, back to your spot. King Arthur of Camelot, legend. The legend of Camelot was created by whom? Shakespeare, Lamprey, Monmouth, or Chaucer? Monmouth. You say Monmouth, give her 75 points. Unbelievable. Victoria, I don't know where you study, but I think I'm applying to that school. The first recorded jump with a parachute was made in which year? 1783, 1843, 1899, or 1918? Um, 1918. You say 19, you're at 1918, you're absolutely wrong. It's 1783. <laughs> Joseph Montgolfier jumped off a building in Paris using it as a safety device for people to escape burning buildings. Punisher. There's no escape from this. Oh, there certainly is no escape from that punisher. Thank you all. Get all the extra group there. Oh, <laughs> wonderful punisher. Marvin Stone created which helpful device in 1888? Was it the garlic press, the tongue depressor, the drinking straw, or the litter box? Litter box? You say the litter box, I say the drinking straw. Wrong. So sorry, Keisha. Now, people liked his invention because they no longer had to lift their glasses to their lips. Punisher. Try sucking this from the straw. Wow. Well, you know what? I wouldn't suck that back with a straw or no straw. I'll just bring the glass to my lips. Thank you very much, Punisher. What is the correct name for the Northern Lights? Is it Aurora Orientalis, Aurora Borealis, Aurora Sorealis, or Aurora Norealis? Aurora Orientalis. Orientalis. Which one? First one. The first one, Aurora Orientalis? Yeah. Aurora wrong. It's Aurora Borealis. Oh. I'm so sorry, Maurice. <laughs> you know, it might, it, might, it might sound boring, but the correct answer is the Aurora Borealis. Punisher. You light up the light. You give me hope. You carry on. You do light up my love, Punisher. Thank you very much. The average crocodile's stomach is about the size of a basketball, a kangaroo, a lunchbox, or your teacher. Kangaroo. You say a kangaroo, 
I say you are absolutely wrong at the basketball. Oh. Unbelievable. It's the size of basketball, Parker. Look at me, I'm enjoying it, dunk. Oh. Slam dunk indeed. Thank you very much, Punisher. What is a brain bucket? A bucket used in an autopsy, a container for the human brain, your head, or an army helmet? Your head. You say your head, I say an army helmet. You're wrong, buddy. You're wrong. I'm so sorry, Mike. Nothing like a military joke, eh, Punisher? But this is a better joke. Oh, my goodness. Well, nothing like a bucket of that going on the brain. Thank you very much, Mike, but nothing for you. The heaviest pumpkin recorded was grown in which province or state? Ontario, British Columbia, and Etna's Garden, or New Jersey? Uh, Ontario. You say Ontario, I say you're right. Give them 50 yeah! points on the board. And just like that, Red has taken the lead with 50. The home of the person with the world's smallest weight called which country home? Was it Japan? Was it jolly old England? Was it China or New Zealand? England. You say England, I say he's right. Give him 50 points on the board. Just like that, Green has gotten right back on the board. We got a game, folks. We have got ourselves a game. How many bacteria cover every square inch of your legs? Is it one million? Is it five million? Eight million or three million? Uh, five million? You say five million, you're getting no points. It's eight million. I'm sorry, come on. Eight million. About eight million bacteria live in each square inch, compared to only two million in your nose, cheek, and chin. Punisher. Bacteria, big word. Big. Ah. And now for the deluxe scoop. One more with the glitter. Uh-oh, deluxe. Welcome to the game. What does Zoomy mean? Does it mean stylish? Does it mean out of style? Does it mean painful? Or does it mean out of control? What was the question? The question is, what does Zoomy mean? Zoomy? Zoomy. Stylish, out of style, stylish. painful, or out of control? You say stylish. Well, he knows me right. Give him 50 points right yes! there. We have it. Oh, yeah. You know, many people have told me that I am quite Zoomy myself. I'm so sorry, it ain't gonna happen today. The first modern roller coaster, the Russian Mountains, was built where? In Moscow, Kiev, Paris, or London? Moscow? You say Moscow, I say Paris. You're wrong, I'm so sorry. It's Paris. It was built in 1804 and used sleds with wheels on the bottom. Punisher. Heads up! That's right, Arabella, your fault. And I'll tell you something, you better hope she doesn't want revenge back to your spot. Where is the oldest castle in the world? Is it in England? Is it in Mexico? Is it in New Jersey? Or is it in Yemen? England? You say England, you're absolutely wrong. It's Yemen. I'm so sorry, Gary Dad, it's in Yemen. <laughs> now, Yemen has a castle built before 100 AD. Punisher. Yeah, man, this is good to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you, Punisher. He's two for two for this game. Can we see if we're three for three? Let's check it out. Right. According to the book, you asked, what's the longest anyone's had hiccups? Is it over 60 years? Is it a millennium? Two days or six months? Two days? You say two days. I say over 60 years. You're wrong. I'm so sorry. It's over 60 years. Now that works up to over 420 million hiccups. Charles Osborne of Iowa had that, Punisher. I got the cure. <laughs> oh boy. That is one messy bucket of goop. Thank you very much, Punisher. Why can't you taste anything when you have a cold? Plugged ears, tired eyes, clammy hands, or mucus filled nose? Um. Mucus-filled nose. Mucus-filled nose is absolutely right. Give her 50 yeah! points. I don't believe it. Congratulations, Josh. I'm sorry, Punisher, I'm for you right now. 
Who earned the nickname Darwin Bulldog for defending Darwin's theory of evolution? <laughs> Edwin Allen, Thomas Henry Huxley, Reginald Fessenden, or Niels Bohr? Mm, Edwin Allen? You say Edwin Allen, I say you're absolutely wrong. It's Thomas Henry Huxley. Well, Thomas Huxley, although the ideas were unpopular, defended Darwin's theory vehemently. Punisher. I love Darwin's theory. <laughs> oh, boy. Darwin's theory, indeed. Thank you very much, Punisher. Ooh, that's yummy. Who was Uncle Sam? Was it Sam Peckinpah, Sam Wilson, Marvin Samuels, or Sam Jackson? Marvin Samuels? You say Marvin Samuels, I say Sam Wilson. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gabe. You're wrong. <laughs> he was named Uncle Sam during the War of 1812. After that, it became an American icon, even though we won. Punisher. You talk too much, Wayne. Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, Punisher. That was I know, I, I do gab a little bit. <laughs> What was Foucault's pendulum used for? To illustrate the Earth's rotation, to keep time, to measure distance in space, or to hypnotize? Keep time? You say to keep time, I say it's to illustrate the Earth's rotation. I can't give you points, you're wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry. Foucault used his pendulum to show in detail how the Earth rotates on its axis, Punisher. Let me illustrate something for you now. Oh, a wonderful illustration. Thank you so much, Punisher. Oh, I love seeing colorful pictures like that. Yeah, bye, Blue. Why do people burp? Nervousness, anxiety, swallowed air, or gassy food? Gassy food. You say gassy food. You're wrong, it's swallowed air. Oh, in traditional Chinese custom, if a diner burps at the table, they are showing appreciation for the food. Punisher. I hope you appreciate this. Well, Adela, I hope you're happy. Because I really am. Thanks a lot. Back to your spot, Adela. The name Big Ben in London's Parliament Buildings refers to what? The tower. The clock, the bell, or uh, Bernard the Tall Guy? The bell? You say the bell. You are right. Give her 50 points on the board. I'm sorry, Punisher. Not this one. Good job, Christine. Back to your spot. How many hairs are there on an average person's head? A gazillion, about 100,000, 200,000, or uh, 420,000 uh, About 100,000. You say about 100,000, you are right. Give them 50 points on the board, Andre. Wow. Sorry, Punisher. Why do Mexican jumping beans jump? They have rhythm. Both, uh, they have a bean moss larvae. That's what I meant, you can see it right there. See? Bubbling water or starch crackles. Starch crackles. Starch crackles. No, it's moss larvae. You're wrong. Oh! Now here's a little hint for you guys. Just a little bit of a hint. Never eat beans and stand near an open flame, okay? Punisher. I refried some beans for you. Oh. Well, let's make sure there are no lighters around the Punisher, and especially that contestant. When was Halley's Comet first observed? Eight, uh, 1685, 1682, 1686, or uh, when I was born, 1681? 1681. You say 1681? I say 1682. You missed by one year, man. One year. You know, it was discovered by Edmund Haley in 1682, and it returns every 75 years. Punisher. Creed Connor. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, Haley would be proud of that, Punisher. Thanks a lot. I am proud of the Punisher. He does such a wonderful job. What is pod speak? Is it a series of words used by botanists? Is it meaningless talk? Is it communication with someone close to you? Or an Australian or Aboriginal dialect? Meaningless talk? Meaningless talk? Give her 50 points on the board right now. 
Good stuff, Sam. 50 points down to the score. It is a close game. How much electricity does it take for our brain to work? Oh, hold on. I'll give you, I'll give you a multiple choice. Don't worry about it. Multiple choice. You know, A, B, C, D. Is it about 10 watts, 1.9 gigawatts, 9 volts, or 115 watts? 115 watts! You say 115 watts? Yeah! You're off a few watts. It's 10. I'm sorry, you're wrong! It's 10! You know, it's about the same amount to light a household bulb. Punisher. You better cover that brain. Oh. Yes, I do say you must cover that brain. Cover it with you. Oh, Punisher, thank you very much. What a relief. <laughs> How did people clean their teeth before the invention of the toothbrush? Was it with arrowheads, honey and their finger, a chewed up twig, or pieces of cotton. A chewed up twig! You say a chewed up twig? You are right. Give her 50 yeah! points on the board. Yes, 50 points indeed. Well, you know what? A chewed up twig may not taste too good, but it does the trick. Okay, which of these animals is the loudest? A gorilla, a Rottweiler, a cow, or a Persian cat? Uh. A cow. You say a cow. 75 points go up on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bowser. Yeah. Yes, I know. Uh-oh, yeah. Deluxe has reaped the benefits for the red team. Why do you hear a bang when a balloon breaks? Is it because the rubber skin is breaking? A little invisible gnome yells, bang. The vacuum of space, is that why you hear it? Or is it an explosion of air? Rubber skin is breaking. You think it's rubber skin breaking? You are absolutely wrong. It's an explosion of air, Jose. Oh, no. Did you know that uh, some suggest it was a weather balloon they discovered in Roswell, New Mexico, and not a UFO? What do you think, Punisher? Here's an explosion of goo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some explosion, Jose. Back to your spot, my friend. Back to your spot. What is Canada's longest river? Is it the Mackenzie River, the St. Lawrence River, the Love Canal, or the Hudson River? Hudson River. You say the Hudson River. You're wrong, Mackenzie River. So sorry. Oh, no. It is 4,241 kilometers long, the Mackenzie River. It's Punisher. A river runs through this. Oh, my. I wonder who directed that picture, Punisher. Thank you very much. That was lovely. Oh, I love a good goofing. If you call someone a zoid, what are they? A zombie, a stupid person, a nonconformist, or a paranoid person? A nonconformist. A nonconformist. You are absolutely right. Give him 50 points on the board for blue. Oh, you are lucky in the booth. You are so lucky. Good job, Cole. Back to your spot. In American slang, what is a stump jumper? Is it a rural person? Is it a lumberjack? Is it a log rider? Or is it a piece of farm equipment? A uh, log rider. A log rider? No, it's oh. a rural person. It's a rural person. Chris. A stump jumper is really just a guy with a lot of time on his hands. Punisher. Oh, a lot of goo in their hands. Oh, well. I know you didn't get the points for 50. But the revenge was sweet and complete. Thanks a lot, Chris. What is the most common fear? Is it snakes, spiders, Leonardo DiCaprio, or heights? Spiders. You say spiders. I say you're right. Give them 50 points on the board. Jason gets 50. You know, it was such a good fear, they named a movie after it. Phobia or something. I'm a movie buff. Oh. Approximately how much does a human head weigh? Four kilograms, two kilograms, one kilogram, or well, it depends on how much snot you have in your nose. Um, four kilograms? You say four kilograms. You're absolutely right. Give them 50 points on the board for red. Well, I'm sorry, Punisher. I'm sorry. We've got some smart people here on O today. In what century did ballerinas first dance on point? The 17th century, the 16th century, 
the 21st century, or the 19th century? Um, 19th century? You say the 19th? Give the man 50 points. I don't believe it's up on the board. Punisher. I promise you, I'm not giving the answers away. Wow. Three O's and three points just given right away. Which baseball team has had the most World Series wins? Was it the New York Yankees, the LA Dodgers, the Brooklyn Dodgers, or the Mississauga Rockies? New York Yankees. New York Yankees is absolutely right. Give them 50 points on the board, Jason. Punisher. I'm so sorry. Good job, Jason. 100 points on the board for you. Now you think you can do it, Tom? Oh, yeah. How badly do you know that you can get this question? You know I it? I want the kaboom. You want it. All right. He wants the JVC kaboom. Let's see if you can get it. Here we go. <laughs> the largest organ of the human body is the brain, the heart, the intestines, or the skin. The intestines. You say the intestines. Let me see here. <laughs> You're wrong. It's the skin. <laughs> Your skin secretes oils and sweat and sheds every day to produce a new layer every 28 days. Punisher. Who wants the flakes of my skin? Oh, yes. yes, the Punisher finally has his day. Congratulations, Punisher. You see, we had lots of uh-ohs before. The Punisher could not dump then, but he dumped now, and that's what we call this game show. Uh-oh. What is a black hole? Is it a dust cloud? A collapsed star, a Borg space station, or a massive galaxy with high gravity? A collapsed star. You say a collapsed star? You are right. Give her 50 points on the board. Good stuff. A collapsed star, Punisher. A huge aging star that pulls matter in until no light can escape. What was the name of Shakespeare's theater in Stratford-upon-Avon? Was it the Hamlet? the MJ Center for the Performing Arts, the Globe Theater, or the Sister Theater? The MJ Center for Performing Arts? You are wrong! No, oh, I'm so sorry! You thought I was right as wrong. It's the Globe Theater. Some critics believe Shakespeare did not write all the plays attributed to him, Punisher. Get me to a gory. Oh, a gory of me. Can a beaver remain underwater? Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 25 minutes? 25 minutes. You say 25. You are wrong. It's 15 minutes. Oh. Hey, listen. This is important stuff, people. I know I'm going to sleep better at night. Punisher. Hold your breath. Oh, yes. Hold your breath, indeed. There you go, back to your spot, Green. Well, no points. Look at that. The uh oh Deluxe looks so wonderful. I love that addition to the wheel. Thank you very much, Green. Thank you very much, Punisher. In the northern hemisphere of the Earth, the longest day falls on June 21st, April Fool's Day, December 21st, or July 4th. Which one is it, Jessica? December 21st. You say December 21st, you're absolutely wrong. It's June 21st. You know, in the Northern Hemisphere, June 21st is the longest day. But in the Southern Hemisphere, it's the shortest day. Punisher. I can pour goo on you all day long. What do you call people that can use both hands? Left righties, ambidextrous, talented, or by handed? By handed? By handed is so wrong, it's ambidextrous. Oh no, Michael. Hey, you know, uh, actually, I can use both my feet. <laughs> yeah, and your feet yeah. smell like this. Oh. Well, if they have to smell like anything. Looks good. <laughs> Thank you, Punisher. Thank you. What type of instrument is used to measure air pressure? Is it a thermometer, a barometer, a psychrometer, or a drumstick? 
Barometer? You say barometer? Yeah. I say you're right. Give her 50 points on the board right there. Oh, my. A barometer measures air pressure in units called millibars. 1,000 millibars equals one bar. I'm so sorry, Punisher. Nothing for us today. How many quarts of air do you breathe on average in an hour? Is it 684, 800, 528, or 137? 684. You say 684, you are absolutely right. Give him 70. Wow, goodness, I'm so sorry, Wow. Well, no revenge, no revenge. How long does it take for the Earth to move around the sun? One year, one week, one day, or uh, one minute. One day? You say one day, you're absolutely wrong. I'm so sorry, my name. It's one year. It takes a full year for the Earth to slowly move around the sun. Punisher. You are the sunshine of man. Punisher. I love when you serenade me. <laughs> Thank you very much. No points for blue, but Punisher sang to me. So nice. What is the world's most common bird? Is it the pigeon, the pelican, the chirpy chirper, or the domestic fowl? The pigeon? You say the pigeon, I say the domestic fowl. You are wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jen, you're wrong. The domestic fowl is also known as the chicken. Punisher. Cock a doodle doo. Oh, yes. Yes, Punisher. Well, she wasn't chicken because she took it right on the head. Good stuff. Thank you very much, Red. Back to your spot. The mirror-like layer in a cat's eye, which seems to make them glow in the dark, is what? The retina, the pupil, not the student, the tepidum, or the olfactory bulb? The pupil? You say the pupil, I say the tepidum. Tap, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. The tabatum is another layer inside the eye that humans don't have, giving the cat twice as much light detection power. Punisher. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh. No way, indeed. Well, thank you very much, Ramona. No points for you, but revenge is so sweet. What is the temperature of the surface of Venus? It's at 600 degrees Fahrenheit, 700 degrees Fahrenheit, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, or 900 degrees Fahrenheit? Um, 600 degrees Fahrenheit. You say 600, uh, if you turn the six upside down, it would be 900. You're wrong, it's 900 degrees Fahrenheit! Oh! You know, because the planet has a 96% carbon dioxide atmosphere, Venus is a toasty 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Punisher. I hate it when I get lava poo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, no points for blue. Which is not a type of zebra? Is it virtual, mountain, gravy, or desert? Desert? You say desert. Give the man 75 points right up on the board for green. Yeah!